and you're happy too. How y'all living, fam? It is Wednesday up in this motherfucker. Happy hump day, y'all. I hope you guys are having a great week or weekend whenever y'all are watching this motherfucker up and through this bitch, okay? Look, your girl's having a morning cup of joe in her baby's cup. Oh my God, I have been craving this, I don't know, for the last couple days. Especially, this is a Cafe Caramel, which you guys know is our favorite. And it is the Pumpkin Spice, uh, the Pumpkin, where is it? It's the Pumpkin Spice Coffee Mate, right? You know, the seasonal one or whatever. Anyway, they're still available in the stove. I don't know if, they, I thought they were limited edition so they wouldn't be around or whatever. Either way, we got ourselves some mo, and that's what we have in. And I had, of course, to put my uh, young fiber in that bitch first thing in the morning. I make sure I get my first little bit of fiber because I have to hit between 27 and 31 grams of fiber every fucking day. And the fiber is the hardest for me to hit. However, y'all, got on that scale this morning. And I'm starting to come back down again. You guys know I was on the roids last week. And steroids has a tendency to put some gain, um, some, some weight gain on your ass. And I was on muscle relaxers and painkillers. And I was barely able to get off from this couch very, you know, very often. So I was really sedentary. And, I mean, outside of me counting the macros on my phone with my fingers, that was probably the most I did calorie-wise, burning calorie-wise, okay? Outside of the couple times you guys saw my ass go to the gym. Outside of that, uh, I laid up on that couch. So it feels good to start working you know, working, walking around and kind of being back kind of semi to my normal self. Still sleeping on the couch because I have to lay completely flat and every time I get into the bed because of the mattress, it still kind of agitates this area. But so far we're doing a lot better. I uh, haven't had to take any meds the last uh, couple of days, which is nice, yesterday and then of course so far today. So yeah, so far so good. Thank you for the well wishes, y'all. Hopefully we're like, you know, it, it feels like we're heading around the bend and we're heading to recovery land. So it's still there, you know, so I haven't been doing any overhead exercises or any of that, any of that type of stuff because I don't want to take a chance on reactivating it, activating it. And I haven't gone on and done any squats or my usual deadlifts or any of those types of things. Everything that I've been doing has been more cardio. And um, if you're following me on Instagram, you guys will see what I've been doing as of late because it's been a couple days we didn't vlog because I was in pain and I just couldn't um and uh these last couple of vlogs are gonna be kind of long because i couldn't i couldn't edit the vlogs to make them one video per you know to make them each individual days because there were times i just couldn't sit in front of the computer long enough without feeling pain so i hope you guys have enjoyed the longer vlogs once i start to feel a lot completely better then we'll get back to our normal routine however i am so happy i'm feeling a lot better so today's gonna be the usual shit. I have a lot to do. I'm so glad we went to the cell yesterday because I got a whole bunch of stuff that I could eat. It is snowy as hell outside. It's not snowing, but it is, it's, it's, it looked like we just had a quick ass blizzard, okay? And uh, so today I've got a client project to finish. I've got a um, makeup video to finish. I have to edit that. I have a um, workout video to finish. Uh, or as an edit, I already shot it, so I have to edit it. And then I've got uh, Real Hospitals of Atlanta to shoot and edit and get that done today. So I've got a lot of editing and shooting to do today. In addition to, you know, just other usual things, you know, kind of starting to plan my week. Okay, so something I've been wanting to start to get into. And let me know if any of you guys do it. And then if you do, holler at me down below. Let me know where I can get the shit from. I'm not a big, like, DIY, crafty type person, right? But... I um, I have been trying to get better with having like a planner, a formal planner where I can put everything that I have uh, in it, things that I have coming up, meetings, conference calls, things like that, you know, like to kind of schedule myself out. And then of course, to be able to schedule out my videos and video ideas and when I want to get them shot and edited and put up and all that kind of shit, right? Well, anyway, um, I've been seeing a lot of people use big ass planners, right? And these planners are kind of like scrapbooking planners. Like you can actually make them really pretty and decorate them and put like little reminders to self. And they'll be like, it's almost like scrapbooking, but it's a planner that you scrapbook out of. That's what reminds me of scrapbooking. Um, and maybe it is scrapbooking. I'm not sure. But I'm actually going to look into purchasing one of those possibly today. I heard they're kind of pricey though. So or I'm just going to look online and see what I can find. Holla at your girl down below and let me know if you know where I could find really cute ones. Like, um, Yaomi actually uses one of those. Um, 
and I love it. Hers is black, gold, and white, and you guys know I love black and gold. So if I did get my hands on it and it was reasonably priced, I'll probably get the one that she has because I love black and gold, and it has stripes, which you guys know I love black and white stripes. I love stripes, period, but black and white specifically. So, um... Anyway, but it looks really cool and I think it's just something, I don't know, for some reason, I think I would actually get into doing that versus the craftier things. For some reason, crafts and arts and shit like that don't really appeal to me. Um, my whole family is creative as fuck, as you can probably tell. I'm sure some of you guys already know, like some of you guys have seen my brother's work, some of you guys, you know, you can tell, and all of us can sing and all that shit. But I'm not the crafty person. I'm more creative with the dome versus, you know what I'm saying, and with the mouth in the sense of, you know what I'm saying, the things that I do with like entertainment, that kind of thing. But my sister, Natasha, which you guys don't know, she actually can paint like a motherfucker. She's an amazing artist. She just doesn't practice very often, but that bitch can paint her ass off like freehand, and so can my mom. My mom is complete freehand when it comes to painting. The both of them can do amazing art type stuff. So they got the more crafty side of the creative side of our family. Um, and uh, so anyway, but I think I would really enjoy doing the planning scrapbooking in that way. I can keep my shit together, put my workout stuff in there, and work related shit, and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know, let me know um, if you guys know of any websites that have those types of planners that are really nice and the big ones. I'm talking about the ones you can, with the stickers, and it just looks cool to me. I feel like I would probably really enjoy it. And it's something kind of like busy work, and I'm a busy work type of person. I actually like doing that type of stuff. So let me know down below. But Look, I'm going to go ahead and get to work. I got on that scale this morning and I dropped. I got on the scale yesterday morning. I dropped. So I'm, I'm coming back down to weight, which I'm so excited about. So I got to go record my numbers now. And then I have a shit ton of work to do. So we're going to go ahead and get all that shit done. Okay, juices at the J-O-B-B, by the way. And yeah, I don't know. I think tonight we're going to just do Blue Apron. Um, I might get and do a little bit of cardio maybe here at the house. My intention really wasn't to leave at all today because it's so yucky outside. Um, and I doubt Juice is going to want to go to the gym because we went to bed hella late last night. So uh, tonight's probably going to be my rest day or my active rest. I probably my, I should really take a rest completely and not do anything, but we'll see how it feels. And uh, yeah, and that's it. So hopefully Juice is going to cook the blue apron. Let us pray. Okay? And that way you can see, us, see him cook the whole thing because I know you guys really wanted to see him do that. And uh, yeah. I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off real quick. I'm going to figure out what to eat for breakfast. Okay. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. So I've been working away, right? And I have a sweet craving, even though you saw I ate a whole bunch of food, right? <laughs> and I finally took off the cream that was on my face to, to treat them pre, pre-menstrual zits that I get. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try this uh, yogurt. It was for sure, you saw yesterday's vlog, the one that I keep hearing everybody talk about is the Light and Fit Greek toasted coconut vanilla. Yami finally got back to me and told me that that was the one that she was talking about in her video. And then um, another girl, I forgot her name for the life of me, was talking about it in her video like literally within that 24 hours. So I was like, I gotta get my hands on it. Y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of Greek yogurt, but it's great for protein. So that's what we're gonna do for today, especially because right now I have a sweet craving. Even though I had strawberries a second ago, for some reason I have a sweet craving. So we're gonna do this. This will be my snacky poo. Go ahead and take it Ooh, Okay, out. So we got the little individual, excuse me, I just burped, individual uh, servings. And then what I'm going to do with it is I'm gonna have it with some granola that I took out of our uh, one of our latest Love With Food boxes. Y'all, I finally, if you guys haven't even seen the videos for my Love With Food unboxings, um, clearly uh, y'all know we love them shit. So I'm sure all of you guys have seen the videos or whatever. I'm doing that just so it's not so bright in y'all's face. But anyway, y'all know the deal with Love With Food. We love it. We had the tasting box. That's what we had a subscription for. And we actually upgraded our subscription to the deluxe box which is the fucking bomb, y'all. No lie, no joke. I'm about to show y'all just how fucking bomb it is. And uh, if y'all are not familiar, you guys should be, but if you're not, 
that. The Love With Food um, service is a monthly subscription service. Sends you totally healthy snacks, organic, natural, healthy snacks. They are always delicious. You may have one or two that you may not like, but that's the point of getting the box because every month it's themed. Every month they give you something completely different, which is dope, and you'll never know what's gonna be in the box. And there's so many things and so many products that you'll never even know is available for purchase or available just that you could eat or try um, because a lot of these are like mom and pop shops um, and just different uh, manufacturers that make these products and it's an awesome way to find new snacks to eat that are healthy that won't derail your shit while you're trying to get healthy for the year, right? So, um, and the other great thing is that every box that you purchase, you also donate a meal to a local food bank. So that's an amazing thing on top of that, right? So. Anyway, we have had a subscription forever. It's probably been almost a year that we have, and we've had a subscription, and we just, uh, we have actually a box that we are gonna do an unboxing faux, but this is actually the one I got before it, if I'm not mistaken. I have two of these, so I could be wrong. But anyway, this is the box right here, disregard the red cup, and basically it tells you, you get to, uh, you basically donate a meal. I think the, del the deluxe boxes donate two meals to a food bank, because they're a larger box, and then the tasting box, which is the smaller box, um, donates one meal. So for every tasting box you get every month, you're donating a meal to a food bank. And then of course, if you get a deluxe box, which is what we needed because we, look, Juice and I were fighting over the tasting box, so I upgraded. Um, you send two meals to a food bank, okay? So if you have a family with kids, the deluxe box is definitely the way to go, but look how much shit you get in that motherfucker, okay? Like you just get so much stuff, and they're the full size portions of the product. Look at this big ass bag right here, right? The tastings box is like, um, the tastings box for y'all, because I have a discount, um, is super, 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 super cheap. They start at like $10 a month. And you can skip, you can cancel anytime. There's no obligation whatsoever. fucking ever. But the cool thing is I do have a discount code down below or a discount link down below that'll give you 40% off your first box. So if you guys haven't even decided to try Love With Food, I really highly advise you try it out. I promise y'all, y'all will not regret the shit. Literally, you will fall in love with it. So many of you guys have hit me up and told me you guys love the shit. So the link is at the top of the description box for it. I promise y'all on everything I love you will love the shit, okay? And your first box is 40% off on me, okay? And you will totally love it. You will love it, love it, love it. Anyway, so these are all the things that are in the box. So what I did was I took out um, one of the granolas, which I've already had one already. This one is the bomb. It's cranberry almond. So that's what I'm gonna use to put on the inside of this Greek yogurt and that'll satisfy my sweet craving and we'll be good to go and I can keep going on with work. I'm gonna get me a little spoon. I'll let you guys know how it tastes, but y'all check out the link down below. I'm not kidding. I promise y'all you will love the shit. I promise y'all. I have some, look, I'm not even playing. Like legit, we keep these boxes because um, we just kind of leave them on the table and on the kitchen counter so that whenever we want a healthy snack, we just grab something, check the macros on it. I check the macros. You know, we'll have a healthy snack. He takes them to work all the time and takes the snacks with him to work. Um, so yeah, I promise you'll love it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I'll let you guys know what, you, what I think of it. What's up, y'all? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and position y'all for a quick second. I am about to take the stuff out of the Blue Apron box because it's been refrigerated this entire time, and uh, but it's taken up a whole bunch of sh fucking space, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, but I want you guys to see what's on the inside of it before it's all broken up, so you can see how it comes packaged, because it's pretty dope. If you guys aren't familiar with the shit, and my neck is bothering me again, so I'm warming up my little thing in the background, okay? So I'm gonna show this to you. I don't know if I'm gonna make one of these tonight, because look, your boy is asleep on the couch. We got back from the gym, hella late last night because we were shooting, um, I was shooting a video for you guys as well, so not only did we work out, but then he helped me shoot that video, which by the time you guys see this video, it may already be up, so if it is, it'll be linked down below. If not, I'll let you guys know when it's officially up and live and all that good shit. But um, anyway, we stayed and did the um, workout video, which you guys will absolutely love, and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. And we got home, we had to still eat, and then you know, I had to make dinner, do all that kind of stuff. We didn't go to bed till after midnight, which is horrible. So your boy's over here taking a little sleep. TV's even on low, if you can believe it. And usually he has that shit blaring. So I'm gonna show you on the inside, to show you the inside of the box so you guys can see it. Just so you guys can see how it comes packaged before I actually put this stuff up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a full-on meal tonight. 
because he sleeps. So when he sleeps, he doesn't have the biggest appetite. Um, and I don't want to make this meal and then him, you know what I mean, not eat it. You know what I mean? But I don't want this box to take up too much space either. Oh my God, that's heaven on earth. It's this little bean things. Anyway, okay, so here's how it comes. Disregard the fact that there's dishes. I have to do those, okay? So here's the box, boom. All right, just so you guys can see it, boom, box, right? And basically on the top of the box, we have our recipes, okay? So those are the recipes and each of the items and what they're essentially supposed to look like is at the top, right? Okay, so we've got, ooh, ooh, that looks awesome. Buffalo chicken sandwiches? Ooh, I, didn't even, I don't even know why I didn't see that in here. Oh, that looks fucking amazeballs. Look at that. Okay, so there's buffalo chicken sandwiches. There's, uh, whoa, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's a, a kale and parmesan garlic toast along with some, I don't know how to spell that, how to say that. Something style eggs, okay? And then this is the one that's supposed to be number one top rated. It's the Korean and spicy pork ragu. This is supposed to be the number one meal of all the meals that, that Blue Apron sends out. This is the one that was rated numero uno, okay, of the fan favorites. And then, I've never seen this before. This wasn't in my last box. Um, oh, I guess this gives you a little bit of uh, information about some of the veggies that are included in the box, okay? So it's awesome. It tells you exactly how much you have per ingredient also. So it tells me that there's 10 ounces of ground pork, a half a pound of Korean rice cakes. You know, it tells you exactly what you, you need. Only thing that I don't like about Blue Apron is it doesn't have the nutritional facts. I looked everywhere and there's no place that it lists any bit of it. I mean, you can make... Uh, an educated guess based on the amount that they have in here of the the beef and the blah 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 but you really there's just no nutritional value which I think that sucks um, that's the only thing that I think they need to change with blue apron so anyway so we've got our refrigerated package here and it comes in ice also so let me go ahead and put this down it comes in um, it comes in like packed in ice and stuff I just want to take them all out so that I can actually get rid of the box, basically. Yes, and it's freezing cold too, so it keeps it all nice and contained. Oops, I mean I cut through the ingredients. The ingredients is what we need. Ooh, okay, so. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all. I'm actually gonna go and uh, see Jessica tomorrow, okay? So um, we're gonna be training, and I haven't trained with her in y'all know months. So you guys will finally be able to see her. And it's actually a training session. It's not actually it's not like a class or anything like that. So I'll be just her and I one on one getting our workout on and stuff. So that'll be fun. I'm excited to go. She'll be at a different gym. You guys know she moved gyms already. Oh my goodness, everything in here looks amazing. Oh my god, everything looks amazing. Oh my god, these look like those Hawaiian. Mmm. Okay. So here we go. Let me show you how everything comes in here too. See? So here's the bread and all the ingredients and everything is labeled so that you know what everything is. So you got your lettuce, you've got your mushrooms and everything else that's, that you need for each of the three recipes because there's three dinners in here, okay? So I don't know. I don't know if it's looking like here's the kale. I don't know if it's looking like we're gonna be making this food tonight because just came home like, I'm just tired, you know what I mean? Which I had a feeling he would be like that. I just, he sounded better on the phone earlier though when I spoke to him, so. It is what it is. Ooh, they have a, ooh, they have a baguette. Ooh, keep refrigerated, all right, all right. They have a pepper. I hear him walking around somewhere. We got some onions, so basically everything you need to make everything for this dish. Ooh, this is, these are the Korean, Korean cakes. You have to keep them refrigerated. Okay, so I'm gonna try to separate them all out and put them in the fridge. There's even eggs in here, okay? Just so we can make sure everything's copacetic and cool in the game. Yes. Everything's in here. Anyway, I just wanted to show this to you guys because um, you may not have a chance to see it or haven't seen the first video that we did a little while back. So let me go ahead. Yes, yes, we got our pork. Oops. We got our pork, which, yeah, doesn't have any nutritional stuff on it. And we got our chicken. So 
So we got our two meats in here for what we're making. And I think that's it. And then of course the ice is in here as well. So anyway, I just wanted to show that to y'all. Okay. So did y'all see the whole nonsense that uh, Stacy Stacy Dash and her stupid ass came out with earlier, talking about some uh, if we want segregation, then we need to get rid of the motherfucking shows like BT centric or whatever the fuck and the Image Awards and all that other bullshit. Like, did y'all see that shit? Y'all know the whole the, the talk of the Oscars and how there was no one black nominated and you know how they're talking about boycotting the Oscars. Are any of y'all gonna watch the Oscars? Okay, number one. I never really watched them anyway to begin with, but are any of you guys typical Oscar watchers and are you guys going to avoid it this year to kind of boycott what's going on? Do you guys normally watch them? And what do y'all think about Stacey Dash and her dumbass? Look, her and Lark Voorhees are two motherfuckers that kind of came from that old school, like that sitcom era, you know, the, the you know what I'm saying? That I feel like somehow or another, Hollywood done fucked them up some way or another. I don't know what happened, especially with Lark. Lark, that was the girl who was actually going to get engaged or was engaged to Martin, right? And I want to say that they were going to get married right before he had his nervous breakdown, okay? And look, I don't, I don't know, but he dodged a bullet with that one because Lark, Lark has issues. And another thing is, I feel like she's brightening her skin. Have, if you, any of you, I don't follow her on Instagram, but the pictures that I've seen from her social media, I feel like she's brightening her skin, like she's take, she's putting, she's bleaching her skin, like real shit, bleaching her skin and lightening it up. Cause I promise you, I don't remember her being that light and bright. I just don't. I know she's always had a lighter complexion, but I don't remember her being that light and bright. Let me know. Let me know. Look up any any meme with Lark in it that's as of recent, and I promise you, you'll see the one where she damn near looks, you know, white as this piece of paper, and you're just like, what the fuck did you do to your face? Like I promise y'all, she is lightening her skin it's crazy but yeah those two motherfuckers lark and stacy dash and it's so sad because i mean they were so cute and everything but i just don't i don't i don't know i don't know what's going on with these bitches now stacy dash you know i hear making all these stupid just just zip it you know what i'm saying anyway yeah y'all have to let me know down below what y'all think of that shit i'm just like i don't know dog you know i have theories about that i'm gonna keep my shit to myself though because then people be like oh my god They'll take it too seriously, you feel me? But let me know down below what y'all think. I'm gonna go ahead and put this shit up.